Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am on my way to dance practice, but I kind of just wanted to get dressed and get ready with you guys. So if you want to get ready with me, it's not really a tutorial, but just get ready with me and just chit chat and talk because you know me, I love to talk. Then stay tuned and let's get dressed together. Dressed together. Let's get ready together. That sounds a lot more, a lot better than the other way around. But anyway, anyway, let's get let's get let's get this video okay, started, guys. So we are going to get dressed. This is the second time filming this because I have filmed yesterday. But then I didn't finish it, so I had to leave. So I was like, okay, you know what? We're going to film today. And plus, I got the two new products that I needed because I was out of and one I've been wanting to get the actual product because I had the sample. So I'm going to, I just washed my face and I'm going to get the, I talked about these on my 2019 favorites. Um, I'm going to use one of these wipes, the aloe vera, and just go over my face in case some of the makeup didn't come off when I washed it. I always get dried right here and I'm just gonna go over it with a miss a cloth <sighs> I'm like dragging this week so bad I feel like I'm just still my little rut and I'm still so tired and wild rose toner I like to use this to spritz my face oh it smells so good like if you don't like the, the scent of roses like it's not like really like <clears throat> overpowering it's like very like light but it's so good so i'm gonna let that sink in to my face and then i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my kypris or something like that i don't know how it's called it is the antioxidant dew it looks like this i talked about this as well i like to put this right before i'm gonna put my primer it's like a little dropper and it's just gonna drop it in my hand and just kind of apply this all over my skin and I like to go up with this and to my face oh pick up the girls get something to eat and then um wait till about 6 30 we have dance practice I am choreographing so tomorrow's the actual event and i don't know i think i'm gonna vlog tomorrow so we'll see how that goes so i had to go to sephora yesterday because i had to go and take addison and my niece to um, music lessons as has been playing drums for five years Arden, my niece has been taking singing lessons for gonna be a month already i want to say at the end of this month it'll be a month um she's a natural she can sing like really really good so we just wanted to put her in classes just to get that extra like you know that extra oomph in it so anyway this product i was talking about it on my 29 favorites it's by milk um makeup and i showed you guys a little sample of it this is the grip primer um oh my god guys like this is the best thing now normally if i don't have this I usually put my other primer on and that is the elf poreless putting primer which is really really good if you don't want to spend the extra money on this which to be honest this isn't really as expensive as I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be like 40 something or 50 something um at this I believe it's like 12 bucks but I have my receipt here I believe this was 30 if I'm not mistaken um yeah it was $30 which still isn't bad um but yeah oh my god it's like really really good and i didn't know what the full size looked like to be honest i was like looking okay it's like gel i thought it was the one one looked like a deodorant and you put that over it that's not it so this is what it looks like this is the full size and this is like the little one that i spent 100 points on from my sephora um my sephora hardly ever has anything though like to use for your points i just have like them adding and adding and adding like i have so many points um but yeah this is the full product and this is amazing so if you want to try a new primer um and you want to spend that extra buck i would suggest this if you don't want to spend then i suggest like the elf one but do like this is amazing like just save up if you don't have it to get this because this is the bomb okay the bomb like who says that anymore right okay so i'm gonna kind of just pour some on my hand and just apply this like your foundation will 
stick to this like oh my god this i can already feel it like and of course i get after destiny because sometimes she puts her foundation and she doesn't put it in her neck and i'm just like girl i can see the line woman i can see the line back then like we would like make fun of people which is bad we shouldn't be making fun of people don't make fun of people but it's like not really making fun of them it was just more like oh my god like girl like you need to like bring that foundation to your neck because okay can you see the my skin sticking to it you see like it has a really good grip like this is the shit okay so and this is the packaging just in case you were wondering like what the box looks like it has this metallic it has like this light blue and green metallic on the side and then right here it says hydro grip primer that's what it says on the box so in case you want to go get one and you want to see what the box looks like like it is really good like i literally suggest getting that like for a really good primer okay so now we're gonna go in with my mark jacobs foundation i'm in shade 34 beige medium i ran out of my kat von d um not kat von d i love kat von d i used to like that a lot but my go-to is the urban decay all-nighter um so i'm trying this one. i've been using this one it's not bad you just gotta work in like sections because if you put too too much it'll look cakey and you don't want to look cakey so i'm gonna go with my beauty sponge and i'm just gonna apply this everywhere I'm so excited I got that. Like, yesterday when I filmed for you guys, I was putting it, like, I was putting the e.l.f. one, and I was like, I really need to go get this um, milk one. It's, like, really good. I was like, you know what? I'm going to the city today, blah, blah, blah. I was going to get it, and I got it, and I was like, you know what? I was going to delete that whole video and just reapply. My look yesterday was really good, so I'm just going to use this, do the same thing. I'm probably just going to change the lip color because, I don't know, I wasn't feeling that lip color yesterday. So I just put it like all on my right side of my face and then I kind of just move it over like in sections and if I feel like you could still see some blemishes I just kind of put a little bit like, just working it like little by little and that's how I do my foundation with this foundation that is. Sorry we can hear someone eating my dog is eating her food. Okay, and jingle for my charm bracelet. Like, I never take this thing off. Like, it's like I can't wait when it's time to come home so that you can be in your bed in pajamas, um, watching a movie or reading a book. I bought two new books yesterday and yeah i have bought one before that and i've just been going through books like crazy so i'm gonna do like a video of what i'm reading and talk about it and stuff like that making some drinking some coffee and talking about it like i think that'd be pretty cool i'm always looking for new books maybe if you are a reader like you would want to tune in and see what books i'm reading i don't like anything like mystery and like that i'm more like a romance type of girl like I like romance adult and then I also like young adult books also so yeah I'm gonna probably do I feel a freaking hair I always feel a hair which is weird because like I have Hulu I have Disney plus um and I have Netflix but Netflix was just like my number one and the past like two three weeks I've been watching nothing but Hulu which is crazy um so yeah so I'm just like I was just like oh my god I still need my room and I'm watching Buffy Vampire Slayer like all over again I, I watched the whole season a long time ago um but I'm like watching it all over again okay so that is done what I'm gonna do is do my eyebrows and I'm using the elf one so i'll be right back i'm gonna do that really quick and then i'll come back okay so now i'm gonna prime my eyelids i had to get a new one because i was running out of my 
I think this is called, this is the Too Faced 24 Hour Insurance. And I'm running out and I couldn't find Too Faced in store. I was going crazy and I was like, you know what? Urban Decay has one. So I got the Urban Decay one. I've had Urban Decay before in the past. Urban Decay in the past. I just got the original one. But for some reason, I feel like this was a small one. Was it me or did they used to have a bigger one than this? Or maybe I just bought the wrong one. But yeah, this one was 24 bucks. But... I don't know. I've never. I thought it was the one with the squeeze, and it's not. It's the one with the um, this little things here, and I've never had one like this. So we're gonna try this out, guys, and see if I even like it. Um, and I like to use like my fingers just to blend it out because. I don't want to put it all on my eyelid, you know what I mean? I feel like using your fingers is a lot better. So I'm going to prime my eyelids. And that is that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back. So I'm going to go ahead and get a palette. I think I'm going to use the James Charles palette, the Morphe one. So the one I used yesterday, I'm probably going to do the same look as I used yesterday. I really like it. If you guys don't know, and if you're new... I am like a sucker for like blue and green eyeshadow. I just those are just my favorite colors. Favorite colors as in like makeup. That's my favorite color color. But um so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and use this bad boy and I'm gonna use what I used yesterday, which is basically like the blues and the greens. So that's what we're gonna do today. But I'm gonna do like a whole tutorial and we're just getting ready with each other. So, yeah, let's get I'm gonna started. go in with my Jeffree Star brush from collaboration with uh, Morphe. This is the JS, I want to say five. JS five. Yep, I was right. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that lime green, that lime green color, and we're gonna work this out. Okay, wait, I have like, you know, you still have like residue from your eyelashes from yesterday gonna go my crease and put this light green here so the other day which wasn't yesterday the day before we're gonna talk a little bit guys because this is what getting ready with me is all about um you guys don't know i have two daughters right my oldest one um is gonna be 16 in may and she had a beautiful cinderella king sonata last year gorgeous not to shoot my own horn but not to shoot my own horn not to toot my own horn <laughs> It was like one of the best skins I've ever um, <laughs> seen. But no, really, like it was just, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. The decorator did amazing. I bought props. Like it was just, we went the whole freaking shebang, right? Um, but Addison, which is my 13 year old that just turned 13, she had been saying that she never wants, she didn't want a kinsa. She's like, I don't want a kinsa. I want a trip, blah, blah, blah. Like, let's go on a trip. That's what I want okay at first i was a little sad about it right because like you know she's my baby like i just feel like celebrating something huge with your oldest one and not the little one it's just i feel kind of bad for it right but that's what she wanted so we were like okay we'll go to florida we'll spend a week we'll do half disney half universal for your 15th whatever probably be a lot um cheaper and it's the same year that destiny graduates high school right so i had to make a party a graduation party for her well she tells me two days later mom i want a ginza so i'm just like girl think i you told me when you just turned 13 because it gives me time to um prepare and i did i feel like i did destiny's like a little bit late when i knew that i should be doing early and yeah so lesson learned where my parents of course are i was gonna go book the hall and i was gonna like get it out of the way so i can have it paid off this year 2020 and then get the catering um and pay like the big things and get those out of the way and then just worry about the smaller things towards like the end right because that's how to, that's the way to do it and i'm trying not to get padrinos this year i kind of want to pay everything on our own um last year we had padrinos first just like the music basically um 
and then of course you also always get by their nose for like the main stuff which is like the ring the watch and stuff like that but normally with stuff like that you don't pick it until that same year so she her is going to be in 2022 but the beginning of 2022 so you kind of want to have it everything by 2021 um so i was like okay well yeah so my parents were like no 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 i'm getting the call we're booking it tomorrow and we're just gonna go and just have it paid off and i was just like okay like i don't have to worry about it because my parents are like a huge my family really my family is like a huge um help with like things like that my mom and i are close my grandma there and my little brother like everybody right so yeah so i was just like fuck but everyone's all like do you know her theme because you've always known destiny since she was a baby i was like heck yeah i do like i don't have favoritism like i know what her theme is destiny we had picked um i'm rambling right but this is what this video is about okay so now that i did green i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna go in with the lighter blue or like a blue blue um if you really want to know what i'm using it's just a, i'm not gonna do a tutorial but i use this one right here and then i'm gonna go in with this one right here so yeah um yeah so anyway i am gonna do a video of planning my uh planning a quince i did that last um last year uh, for Destiny, like, I did a planning a quince, and I didn't really think that I was going to get, like, a good response to that, those videos, and I really did, and, like, I even had parents were like, hey, like, are you going to post the next, like, the next part of this video, like, blah, 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 and I was just like, oh, yeah, I will, so, that being said, I'm going to do that again with, um, Addison's, that way people can, you know, know how to plan stuff, because on, to be honest, like, when I was looking, there wasn't a lot of stuff. The only thing that popped up was like how to decorate, um, like the themes, like um, DIYs and stuff like that, but not like in depth of like how to plan it. So I was like, yeah, I'll do another video that way. But I will tell you guys the theme later on because I want to save that for the video. But let's just be clear. It's something unique so and everybody knows that she's a harry potter fan but it's not harry potter so before you even ask it's not harry potter um i've had hers planned for a long time of course like i'm not gonna like be in charge like as in like no you're gonna get this and no you're gonna do this like that's not how it works with us like i just tell her like this is what i have planned for you do you still want that or whatever whatever so she has said yeah so that is that but anyway moving on from that um I will be doing a video on that and I have to do two parties that year because thankfully Destiny is going to have a graduation party with one of her very good friends because that's expensive like uh, Kathleen Light says it's expensive yep it is okay so so yesterday I kind of just did more of like did I do even do blue fuck I feel like I need to add more blue to this like in person it sees it but on camera it's like different okay so on the lower lid i'm gonna do one eye blue and one eye green because i like the way that looks so we're gonna go ahead and go with green first i'm telling you guys like i love blue and green eyeshadow on me so i'm just gonna go with green piper what are you doing Okay, you see how how's that green? And then I'm gonna go with that brighter blue. It's like a brighter blue. And go on the bottom. Jingo. And that is that. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush this off. And I'm gonna go in with the best concealer in my opinion. I just kind of threw that and caught it. Okay, so this is the Instant Age Age Rewind Eraser Multi Use Concealer. Like I love this shit big time. And I every time I go and get a new one, like I always forget the shade that I'm in, or they don't have it. So I just kind of like have different shades. But I love this because it. I don't know for like a drug 
product like a drugstore product and it's so good I still freaking feel hair look at that do you see that I tell you I feel stuff like so I, I hate any, any kind of hair on, on my face okay so I'm just gonna go in with this go and go where I put concealer that's how I do my face one my foot's asleep guys i got oh that's just trash bag right there but you can't even see it but i got a clear chair i'm so freaking excited if you guys don't know i love anything clear like if clear was a very uh, if clear was a color like that would be my favorite color but i love clear like acrylic stuff so like i have the acrylic tables i have the acrylic drawers for my makeup organizer I have like a bunch of stuff like that like I have the like, clear little brush makeup brushes and stuff I just love anything clear right the only thing that was missing was a clear chair like the acrylic clear chair or whatever right and I've been wanting one for so freaking long like if you know me you know I've been wanting one for so forever and I don't know I just kept putting it off and then I was like well I don't really don't want to spend like 120 180 150 and up dollars for a chair right and I was like but I really really want one like my acrylic tables were on sale at at home so I mean I was still spending like about 60 bucks 50 bucks type of thing right because they were really really pricey and it was like they had it like a sell or whatever um but yeah i've always wanted a clear chair and when i went because there's where i live there's a hobby lobby if you're not from where i'm from right like some of you that watch me are from where i'm from some of you that like watch me are from different states and stuff like that but there's two hobby lobbies well right basically three there's one in kingsville which is like 30 minutes there's one in corpus which is 45 minutes from where i live and there's one in Kalalan, which is like 30 minutes away I always go to the one in Cal Island because I don't know I just love that Hobby Lobby I think I've only been to Kingsville like once when I was out there um for event teaching dancing and yeah so the while back I went to Corpus Hobby Lobby because I had to go get something I remember what it was um we were in Corpus already and at, on the t on the display where there you pay to cash out or whatever like to check out they had these beautiful clear chairs and I was like oh my god and it said 30% off because it's always 30% off in furniture so I'm going to use this bronzer um I was just like oh my goodness like I want one they're on sale like what's the regular price right so I told Addison I was like go look and see how much those chairs are and so she went and she told me how much it was and I was just like oh my goodness I was like well I don't have time today I have to come back next week next week I, don't, I didn't even have room to put in my vehicle because I was I had like three girls with me I had my oldest my youngest and my niece and I was like there is no room to put the, the chair in if I take it right now so we went back and I got the bigger vehicle and I bought it and I was like oh my god and after I don't know how many years that I've been wanting one I finally got my clear table oh, my clear table my clear chair so anyway I'll show it to you guys in a little bit but I'm gonna put it as my monthly favorites because I've had it for when I do my January favorites I put this in there so you guys can see but I'm just so excited and it's really nice and it's really comfortable however like I still want to get like a little like pillow and I want to get like a little throw well I'm gonna make my throw blanket and put it on there because I've been crocheting guys I'm making those big old chunky uh, blankets maybe one for Destiny maybe one for Addison my niece loved it someone had about to make her one and they are so comfortable okay so yesterday i used the same blush i'm gonna use the same one again i'm gonna do the patrick star mac in this right here and this is the take me home and it's like the two duo so i'm just gonna mix those up why why here why so i'm just gonna mix those up my vanity came with for someone i don't know the leg broke 
and i was kind of like sad about it but at the same time i was like you see like now i really need a chair <clears throat> clear chair to be exact so yeah um i was like you know what i can't fix it but dan had fixed it before like this one you can tell like it literally is broken like i really need someone that like knows how to fix chairs to fix the wood of it and so yeah so it's still in here like it's hitting my leg the little bench thing but i'm gonna go and take it to my mom's like cuartito which is like a little storage in the back um okay, so, so my mascara my lashes and my eyeliner are on why do i wear lashes i'm wearing i think they're the 3d20s um yeah the 3d20s and they look like this these are my favorite brand more us like i love those lashes then i'm gonna go in with my wet and wild just so i can give it a little highlight in the inner corner um, but i think i'm gonna do that today so this one has the green and i'm gonna go ahead and put the blue on the lower lash line i'm gonna put green just to give it a little bit of color. I haven't worn anything underneath my eyeliner line in a very long time. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and do some highlight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Elf with Heart, the collaboration, which is like all dirty, but I'm gonna use this one right here. Um, I need my highlighting brush. Here we go. And They're a little bit chopped. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my lip script real quick. Uh, I'm gonna use the this one right here. Um, let me do just a tad. I need to scrub this dead skin. It's to get one of those disposables brushes, like for mascara, like if you're a makeup artist. I always have these in my kit when I do makeup you get one of these I don't have a jewel on there but you get one of these and you kind of do this and it takes off all the dust can I learned this when I was in beauty school and they're like the best thing ever I just keep that for my lips but because I feel like yesterday I used Celebrity Skin and I feel like it was a little too, like, not the nude I was looking for. So let's see how this looks. I'm already running out of these. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face and I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Morphe. I'm already running out of this. I'm going to get me another one. The original, because I like the original. Okay, guys, I am going to get dressed and I will be back. I'm probably gonna do too much with my hair. I do have a hair appointment tomorrow so that they can do my hair, style it, and all of that for the Sweet 16 tomorrow. And um, I had dance practice, so I'm gonna fix my hair all nice and beautiful when I'm gonna sweat it out and look raunchy as crap because. My hair's gonna look raunchy afterwards because it's gonna be all sweaty and stuff. Um, but yeah, before anyone starts saying, like, oh, why should you say raunchy? It, it's just a thing that we say. I'm Latina, like, that's what we say to each other. But anyway, um, yeah. Hey guys, so that I'm is it for this video. This is what my hair looks like because I am going to dance practice. Don't, don't, don't judge. I know I still have my Christmas tree. I gotta take it down. I know, like, last year I had it, like, all year long. Um, but because it lights up at night, it's so pretty. But I am going to take it down because I kind of want to put those lights that light up around the whole room. I'm going to do that. But anyway, I'm going off subject. But this is the final look. Um, I like it. This is what I've been doing lately. I've been using, like, new lips, which is very rare for me because I love colored lips with a lot of, like, colored eyeshadow. There, I never wear natural looks, but there is a natural look that I feel like I've been rocking. I don't know i just feel like i like the way it looks on me so if you want to see like a more natural look 
um or you want to get out of your comfort zone from like using so much color and kind of want to see what it looks like natural um i would do that video for you guys so there is a look that i've been doing it's like only like two eyeshadows and that's it and it's really like really really cool i think i finally found a way for me to like a little bit more of the natural look on that but anyway that video will be coming up soon but this is it i don't have anything else to say except that i will see you really soon i have to go pick up the girls and go eat and go to practice so i have like a busy week um i will be vlogging again i miss vlogging i love vlogging i'll be vlogging tomorrow for the sweet 16 and i'll be vlogging again for sunday because i have a photo shoot with um my daughter my daughter has a photo shoot so i'll be doing like hair and makeup and all that stuff so stay tuned for that but anyway you guys thank you for tuning in and getting ready with me i love doing my make my hair not my hair hardly ever do my hair I really do love doing my makeup with you guys and I miss YouTube like I've been in the la la land but anyway that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already don't forget to stand and subscribe button ring the bell to know about future videos and until next time I will